I will attempt to do is reconstruct the wire here that <clears throat> is used to lock the bottom seat cushion in place. This one hopefully won't be too bad because I have the material. On this side, however, is completely gone. I think this is supposed to be connected to here, so I'll do that <clears throat> and then I'll have to weld this back close and manufacture this piece only opposite because it's got to fit that way for it to line up. So first thing is we got to find some material and what I had laying around here was this old uh, sign stand for like realtor type uh, signs. This was, uh, uh, let's see, it is a little bit thicker than the current wire but it'll be okay. It's uh, enough material to work with anyway. So I'll cut off these smaller pieces here and get started. I have processed the material now, so I have a couple of chances to get this right. If I do it right the first time, I'll have extra. Okay, it looks like a 90 degree bend to me. All I'm doing is just laying out the pattern. These two bends are the same as um, this piece, but when I get to this one, I'll have to go the opposite direction, and I'll show you why when we get over back to the seat. Second bend complete, and I've got it set in a vise, using that as my measurement to bend it back that way next. All right, after some more bending and tweaking off camera, I'll come up with the basic shape. The issue is these springs are not the same as they are on the other side. So I just took some basic measurements. This needs to be about four inches away from the seat lip to match the other side. And then basically level across the, from this edge down to the edge just off camera to the lower, lower part of the screen. So I need to make a little bit of adjustment, but you get the gist there. I'm going to leave this long so I can weld this in, give me some, you know, some material to weld on. I can cut that off later. This gives me some handle kind of to maneuver things. Got plenty of uh, material walled up in there. This piece has been completely twisted. Uh, it's not hurting anything. Leave it there. I may clean it up. I don't know. We'll see. Main thing is to get this strong. And then on the other side, it's just a matter of using the existing piece and getting that set in place. And I've taken measurements from that. Hopefully, it is correct. <laughs> Uh, I did go in the car and look at the actual uh, attachment points, measure them best I could. It's really hard to tell uh, where exactly they're going to sit, but this arrangement does give you uh, some leeway, like so. I did uh, did best I could. So anyway, I wanted a way to test fit this before I welded anything, so I came up with this idea of just wiring it all together. I think it'll hold it pretty good until I can get it in there and make sure everything works. And this is how I kind of set it up. Just use wire ties and then I'll come back with the wire and tie it as tight as I can. And then we'll check uh, measurements again, get it in the car and see if it actually connects to the attachment points. I had to put the car up a little bit so I could get up underneath the seat, but yep, it fits pretty good. If anything, this could actually be a little lower to give us a little tighter fit. However, I'm going to weld it in as is because I didn't have the back of the cushion in and that's going to change up how this thing fits. But it basically is in the attachment points and we've made an improvement at least. So what I'll do is clean all this all up and get ready to weld. Well, one would hope at this point got everything right because there's no going back. So I did get just a little bit there, about an inch and a quarter, compared to uh, four inches and a quarter. So not too bad that way. And then they're laying pretty level, pretty level that way. I'm just going across the top of the front to the back spring, and there's no interference. So that's about where I had wired everything to make it fit in the car. So I think it's going to be, you know, it's not a... Uh, a pretty repair, but I think it's a good repair. Well, all right, everybody, that's about all I can do on that. It's going to be strong enough for for uh, what it is. 
it's uh, just to secure that bottom seat when I went in there to pull it out it just fell right out basically so if you have passengers worth their weight on it and do a sudden stop you know they're going to be sliding um, I think there's seat belts back there I, I, I'm missing one somewhere I can't remember anyway thanks for hanging in there with me uh, hope this helps somebody even if you're not a welder you can get something done thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one